Hi, this is Tua with another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to run an Epic Games on Linux. Unlike Steam that officially supports Linux, Tim Sweeney and the gang has no intentions of distributing on Linux, at least in the near future. While I'm not gamers and still prefer Steam because its commitment to supports our glorious platform, Epic is gaining attention by introducing exclusive titles and discounts, especially a free-to-keep game every week. Thankfully, Linux gaming is getting more interesting as the free open source community is providing better support and tools for gamers. Playing games on Linux is constantly reaching new levels. Anyway, I just finished Control. I can confidently say I was really satisfied with this game, especially the Ashtray Maze mission after get a headphone from Ati. That part was the only mission where I felt overpowered. I wanna go through it again. For those who haven't touched it yet, it's a masterpiece absolutely worth a playthrough. I've previously shared how you can run Epic Games Launcher in Linux using Bottles. S it's a free and open source software that uses environments to help us manage and run Windows software on Linux. The gaming environment that comes pre-configured lets you install game stores from Blizzard Battle.net, Epic Game Store, EA Launcher, GOG Galaxy, Origin, and Ubisoft Connect. Unfortunately that workaround is a bit buggy. It's slow and sluggish to respond to mouse movement sometimes. In my experience, the download always failed after reaching 5 gigs. No resume. So I have to start from the beginning over and over. Wasting my data plan. But thankfully, we are living in the kingdom of free open source software, we always have more options than we think. And that's using Heroic Games Launcher. Heroic is a cross-platform, open source, and lightweight games launcher. It's available for major operating systems such as Linux, Windows, and Mac. And since it supports Linux, you can use this on your Steam Deck. Unlike the official Epic client, this game launcher is using fewer resources and supporting a range of tools like Wine and Proton. Heroic uses the command line based legendary launcher in the background to do its job. While Legendary is originally a command line application, which not for everyone I believe, Heroic provides a graphical user interface. You'll get a native-like experience, including login with an existing account, install or uninstall, update the game, repair and move games, import an already installed game, download custom Wine and Proton versions, access to the stores directly from Heroic, sync saves with the cloud, run game offline for supported titles, show or limit FPS, custom theming, enable Menko hit to monitoring temperatures, processor or graphics card load, and more. I can easily say that this game launcher is a better alternative to the Epic Games launcher and GOG Galaxy. If you're using Fedora or Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions like Linux Mint, Heroic Games Launcher is not yet in the official distribution repository. As a result, you need to get the package for the distribution you're using and install it manually. For Arch users, you can find it listed in AUR. So let's get started by launching your preferred web browser, heading to its repository on GitHub, and then open the releases page. I put this link in the description down below. Now, if you're running Fedora or RPM-based distributions, download the heroic.rpm package. The package size is around 90 MB. It's relatively small, so it shouldn't take that much time. Once downloaded, navigate to the folder where you saved the package, and then install it. You can do this with command line from the terminal by running sudo space rpm space minus i space the package name. The same guide applies to Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions like Linux Mint or Elementary. But instead of grabbing .rpm package, you need to grab the dev package. Once downloaded, navigate to the folder where you saved the package. You can simply open it with Ubuntu software, then hit the install button, or install it from the terminal. Run sudo space dpkg space minus i space the package name. If you're getting this error, you can easily solve it by running sudo space apt space minus f space install. Heroic is also available as a flat pack and AppImage formats. 
For Flatpak fans, you can install it directly from your terminal if you have Flathub enabled on your system. After you've installed Heroic Games Launcher on your system, you can open it from the Applications Launcher and then click Login under the left sidebar. There you'll get an option to log into your account. You may either manually input your credentials or choose another option to log in using a secondary account, such as Google or Facebook. When logged in, you can now switch to the library from the left sidebar. Heroic will list all the games that you've added to your Epic Games library. If you just see a blank page, try click on the refresh button. Before you install any games, it is recommended that you download a version of the Proton compatibility layer first from the Wine Manager tab. And since I have Proton installed through Steam, I can skip this part. It's worth to mention that my Steam are non flat pack. Now, to install a game, select it from the list and click Install. Heroic will prompt you to choose an installation path, Wine prefix, and Wine version to run the game. Heroic will now begin downloading the game files and storing them in the folder provided. Well, I'm gonna cancel this because I have another game installed for example. It's Control of course. So, when a game is fully finished installed, we can finally hit the Play Now button. That's it. Heroic Games Launcher is really awesome and simple to use tool for Linux gamers. Control works wonderfully for me. Hope this helped you install the Windows only games on your Linux based operating system. Thanks for watching and being here. Consider subscribing to get latest how to install, configure, use Linux and free libre open source software, or if you like what you see. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Thank <laughs> you.